Good morning. It's really early in the morning. And uh, while I'm having my coffee, my morning coffee, I've suddenly had an idea. Now, I'm going to talk about Alex Balfour's reasoning for not defending himself. Now, this is my opinion. This is my thoughts, um, just my ideas. It may or may not be true, but this is my opinion. Oh, the wind's blowing up, really. It's, it, this is just my opinion on what's actually happening with the man. So I believe he collected a, roughly about £300,000. That was the figure the last time I heard him boasting about how much money he collected from his uh, uh, faithful followers. To, to bring about a prosecution against the police and the BBC, uh, which he then led to believe is what's happening now with this case that's coming up in July. Uh, he, he kind of indicated in his uh, YouTube channels uh, that might be deleted now, that he said something about him, him taking the, the police to court. Well, he's not actually taking the police to court on this occasion. The police are holding fire on this... Uh, on the um, uh, the cases that led to him, his house being raided, they're holding fire on that one because of this case that's coming up. Uh, you know, it might be difficult to uh, uh, you know to send someone to prison again if they're already doing 144 years for stalking. Uh, as we all know, a stalking charge is uh, like the minimum pro uh, jail sentence is something like 12 years. So if he gets caught on 12 charges, uh, 12 times 12 is 144. So he could spend the next 144 years in, in jail uh, for his stalking alone. So it might, might be pointless uh, in taking him to court for something else. Uh, anyway, uh, one of the reasons why that, that he has he's spent all the donations that, that he's received on his lavish holidays, of course this is just my opinion, is because he doesn't need a barrister. He's defending himself in court. Why would you waste all that money on legal fees, barristers fees, solicitors fees, court costs fees, this, that and the other, would you know you're guilty? This is, this is my opinion. I think that he spent all this money on his own uh, self-gratification, these lavish holidays to America, uh, because he knows he's guilty. If he goes to, uh, you know, if he, if, he's wasted, if he takes a barrister to court to try and prove his innocence, then he, you know, and he knows he's guilty, then he's wasted that money, hasn't he? So this is what I, this is my own opinion this is why I think he spent all that money on holidays and the other thing that's uh, occurred to me is that all these holidays to America well, I think he might be buying a flat out there so no doubt he'll be uh, absconding <laughs> to over to America before he's sentenced of course this is just my opinion and uh, of course my opinion doesn't really matter does it it's your opinion that counts and uh, we're all entitled to an opinion. But anyway, it's, it's blowing a gale here. Yeah. Anyway, so that's it. That's my final thoughts before going on holiday. It is that um, maybe you should, should consider why he's not actually uh, using a legal representation in court uh, for such a serious charge. As you can imagine, being... being um, you know, taken to court and the the sentence if found guilty is a custodial sentence. Um, you know, so why why would you waste your money on a defence if you know that you're guilty? Uh, maybe he'll change his plea when he gets into court. You don't know. Anyway, like I said, this is my opinion. It's not based on fact. It's just my ideas. And, uh, of course, you can't stop an idea. Anyway, that's about it. It's, um, it's a really nice 
but windy day here on Saturday morning early early Saturday morning anyway have a coffee yourselves people and of course smash that like button and uh, hit the uh, subscribe or share if you haven't subscribed already and of course uh, if you want to see more of these just keep watching and then maybe you can buy me a coffee at the end as well the link is in the description okay i'll see you all later bye then